It's February 1st, and I'm very overwhelmed right now. So I had a visitation from Gabriel on Monday, and I shared that on YouTube, the message. Today, this morning, I was worshiping again around 851. Unfortunately, I'm not quite certain, 100% sure exactly what time it was. I was worshiping Yeshua. He told me to step outside on the porch again. I watched as Gabriel descended down in front of me and walked towards me again. Second visitation this morning. I didn't know it was Gabriel. I asked for a confirmation, uh, obviously, and he confirmed, in fact, it was Gabriel, and he had a message from the Father. He gave me a personal message, and which I'm not going to share, and gave me another confirmation to the body of Christ to tell the body of Christ and tell everyone that the kingdom was very excited, is what he said, and that the bride would be home very, very soon. Very, very soon. That was his message. Then, a couple of minutes ago, I looked at, praise God, I looked at the clock right after this happened. I was worshiping the Lord. He said, Devin, step out on your front porch again. And again, Gabriel descended, was right in front of me. This is two visitations from Gabriel and three visitations in one, one, in a matter of four days. He said, Devin, tell the body of Christ, tell everyone that the sixth seal is about to be opened. Enter, prepare. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just really absorbing everything. This just happened the second, the second time. I was given Revelation 6, verse 12 through 14. I'm a baby in Christ. I'm learning the Bible. So I wasn't quite sure what that was until I went to it. We all, most of my elders in the body of Christ know what Revelation 6 is, verse 12 through 14. It's the opening of the sixth seal. Um, I'm just sharing this with you. I know there's a division in the body of Christ. Papa is really suffering with all the the disagreement, disagreeing within the body and rebuking each other and this and that. I'm not putting, I don't put anything on YouTube to debate. I'm not going to debate. I'm being obedient to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit and sharing these things and praying the blood of Jesus over them, hoping that you'll receive this message. I know that many in the body have their own beliefs of when Yeshua is coming back, but I'm here to tell you that this is my third visitation. Again, one on Monday from Gabriel and two in one day. Um, the last one at 12.31 today. I love all of you. I know we're going home. Um, let's stick together and make our Papa happy. I'm tired of my Papa hurting. I'm tired of him hurting every time we get on YouTube and rebuke each other and go back and forth. There's no reason for it. Brothers and sisters, there's no reason for it. Just privately, privately pray for your brother and sister that you don't agree with. I'm begging you, to all of you that, that love Papa as much as I do, and the, the Son and the Holy Spirit, to just please just stand together and know that this is huge. This is huge straight from the Father's throne that we are going home. It is about to happen. I love all of you so much, and I feel so honored and so blessed to be able to share these experiences with you. I'm going to meet all of you very, very soon. 
I'm going to share something that me and Papa share every day that I think is just absolutely beautiful for the body of Christ. When I got saved, Yeshua said to me, Devin, I am yours, you are mine, and we are one. Every day, we say that to each other all day. I'm saying this to you, body of Christ. We are all one. I love all of you. God bless. God bless. And I pray that my Papa can find peace within his body. In the mighty, precious, beautiful name of Jesus. Amen.